some of these deaths make no fucking sense, but then this game, s weirdly, strangely enough, makes some sense. Hey everybody, Luke the Dear Grim. Today we're playing One Way to Die, a little text-based adventure. It's a free game on Steam, so I thought, what the hell, let's see what it's about. So play. Pledges of Friendship. Suddenly you snap away from your bed, mouth dry, eyes sticky, and a slight film of moisture covering your whole body. As you blink away the fog of that last dream, the one where you died. What? <laughs> a feeling of dread creeps over you. You are barely able to recall the last few seconds when suddenly is replaced by a pretty nasty headache. Despite the feeling that horrible things are about to happen, your pulsating cranium, you remember that today is the last day of the glorious Finnegan Brothers Fun Park is open. While the closing itself is truly a crime against humanity. The upside is that all the rising games are free, the fried foods are heavily saturated as well as discounted, and there's a chance to win your own elephant. Who would pass that up, even with the specter of death lingering about? But do you stop to take an aspirin for a wretched headache, or make a sandwich to fill your empty belly, or just say fuck it and head to the car? Ah, uh, get some to eat. Heated exchange. Just a few minutes in the kitchen where all you needed to whip up a delicious sandwich to tide you over until you get into the fun park. But not, not even this mouth-watering beauty was enough to keep those creeping fears at bay. You were a little too jumpy while you were spreading the mustard. But the, I thought it was a peanut butter Oh, it was just a regular sandwich. Anyway. Um, well, you're spreading the mustard, but it's only butter knife after all. What could really happen? You chew each bite very cautiously, randomly glancing up at the clock and back to the table again. Every other time you take a drink of water to wash down your mash sandwich clumps, secretly fearing you will choke as if there's not a lubric lubricant, liquid lubricant, pleasant, English is hard. You toss the plate in the sink and make your way to the front door as you swallow that last remaining piece. Delicious! You gained immunity! You've eaten a sandwich. This will prevent hunger-related deaths. Alright, that was sa satisfying as fresh corn dogs. We don't do Let go. What? What the fuck? <laughs> you stroll out the front door and casually up to your car. The feeling of doom creeps back and you stop to cautiously look around. All clear you think, seeing nothing dangerous in the immediate vicinity. You unlock the car road and stop another check. Satisfied you get into your car and start backing it out of the driveway. But your slow pace and like the driveway were opportune enough for some crazy guy to hold up and catch you off guard. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> All I do is eat a fucking sandwich. And then some asshole comes up and shoots me. What the shit is this? Before you know what's happening, the man you know, opens your car door and drags you out of the vehicle by your hair. Ah, damn it. Should have buckled up. And the man then uses that hair to not only drag you into the middle of the street, but also to pull you up onto your knees. Still rolling from the chaos, you feel the gun forcibly mashed into your mouth and releasing a few teeth in the process. You let us around a gibberish as you sit there anticipating and draining the feel of a hammer. Quick. Then, you've been shot by a maniac. Start over. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright. You. Someone you snap awake. Okay, I'm gonna skip the first two paragraphs. They're the same as they were earlier. You press the flattened button on your bed's remote. That's right, you have one of those fancy hospital but for home remote control adjustable beds. The bed jerks a few times to slow the bed starts to slowly straighten itself out. You lie there and wait for it to stop moving suddenly it begins to jerk wildly. Before you can roll off, the bed snaps in half upward, which also bends you completely in half at the waist. Spine snap gets pressed out through every open hole and you have died by bed. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I've been playing for five minutes, Aria died by getting shot by some fucking maniac, and then killed by my own fucking hospital, but for home bed. You decide to browse Reddit on your phone real quick before popping up to head out. Looking at this local subreddit, you notice a post that links your own obituary. What the fuck, you exclaim as you click the post. There were a few comments, some talking shit about you, and even if some by a few of your neighbors. You hit the comment to respond. About this oddity, when the phone falls from your hand and your eyes go blank, you slip back into your pillow, you die by the unknown. Okay, so we start over, finally. What the hell is this? Like, literally, I've been playing this for five minutes. Died by getting shot by a maniac with no pretense there. Died by my own, like, bed, snapping me in half, Mortal Kombat style. And then who the fuck knows? Let's get some aspirin for the headache. You skip in a rare moment of unbridled joy to the bathroom in order to get ready for the fun, fun park mania. But you, after you pass out the door, your bowels begin to grumble like a cage, caged, tormented animal. You rip your stomach and drop to your knees, taking in a large breath of air. You try and stand in a sharp pain, jabs in. Well, the diarrhea is just the way to take, just the way you take your coffee, strong and black. Okay, I am not reading the rest of that out loud. High powered spray of it, it being diarrhea, rips through. I can't, no, I'm not reading this out loud. I'm not 
reading this out loud. I'm not. No. Read it. Read it. Fucking shit. <laughs> Fine, I'll read it. I powered spray of it. Rips through your pants and knocks you forward onto the floor as it gushes at you, roll up to your side, just as the smell tears into your nostrils, and you begin to projectile vomit at the same intensity. Holy shit. <laughs> The shock of such internal expulsion kills you just as your lifeless body spins like a pinwheel on the now vile bathroom. How to try to you. You head downstairs at lightning speed, fueled by desire for cheap food and free rides, not to mention a possible free pet elephant. You that's like Bart Simpson. Yeah. Anyone remember that episode? You accidentally skip over one of the middle steps and almost lose your balance. Stumbling, you immediately grab onto the railing, which saves you from tumbling down the stairs into that quite lovely solid oak door you had installed last year. Excuse me. Oh, good book. For your own safety, you decide to descend a bit slower. As you make it to the bottom of the stairs, your belly reminds you that you should eat before leaving unless that fuel runs out. Conflicted by your love of the fun park and your body's need for energy, you stop at the bottom of the stairs to make another important and oddly timed decision. Get something to eat first, or there's food where you'll be- Yeah, no, food where I'm going. What?! What the fuck?! You walk outside to greet the sunny, beautiful day ahead. Looks like it might be okay after all! You stroll confidently down to the car, admiring the blue skies and bright sun. You even start to whistle a little tune to yourself. In the distance, you hear the birds chirping and what sounds like an eagle screeching. If memory serves, there's an eagle nest somewhere near Murphy's Lake, isn't there? Even if memory doesn't serve, there is a damn eagle nest near Murphy's Lake. And the eagle in question just happened to be carrying a turtle and also cracking its shell and feasting on the sweet meats inside. They usually drop them from high in the air on the stones to crack it open, but this one decided your head was a good target. This turtle shell blasts you in the dome with such force that it cracks your skull open and causes hands to damage, killing you on impact. <laughs> <laughs> so, in summary, I've been playing this game for not even 10 minutes. I've died from a maniac, from explosive diarrhea, and that was a fun one to read out loud. This this, this text-based adventure kind of thing is just, how the fuck? Just, I, I don't even have words for this. How does this happen? We're going to try it one more time. What? You stand up from your bed and stretch a little. A little yawn slips out as you scratch your head and turn towards your window, which happens to have a lovely view of Murphy's Lake. Murphy's Lake has become an evil fucking place, I guess. A gorgeous day to spend at Finnegan Brothers, and the scene itself seems to soothe your headache just a bit. When suddenly an arrow bursts through the glass, piercing your eyeball and penetrating deep in your brain. Is that even physically possible? And I die again. Jesus Christ. Upon, upon sitting up, your throat begins to tickle as if a small feather got loose in there, and failing to stifle it, you begin to cough. Rubbing your throat seems only seems to coax a, cough, coax a coughing fit to break out. Standing up and heading toward the bathroom, your eyes bulge as the coughing intensifies as the spittle flies in your mouth. Almost immediately, you fall headfirst into the floor, dropping to the floor and clutching at your chest wildly. Then it comes on even heavier as your air begins to run out. You pull at your own throat, clawing like a maniac. The love begins to spray out with each rag you have now. Oh, shit. Trickling out your nose as well, and your vision begins to blur, and everything fades to black. You have choked to death. I'm done! I'm fucking done! The next step that comes up is you have been eaten by head crabs. What the fuck? I'm done! I'm done! Fuck this! I'm out!